said there should be a world with no geographical boundaries like nation state and things like that what we believe is if we don't work with prisoners how will you make them useful to the society i dream of uh, a world with no prisons Hi, I am Surekha Talari. I have been born and brought up in Dundigal Division, which is in Hyderabad. We hail from a agriculture background family in Andhra Pradesh. My mother had been in stress to give birth to a boy child, and uh, in that process, we were four daughters, and my parents did not get any boy child. This social custom definitely have impact on my family as well. for the reason that uh, my family also hails from the same community and my parents were under tremendous stress to uh, give that kind of equal rights to uh, us initially education was not really well taken up in most of the communities because if the girl is educated there is a question that whether she will get a suitable boy for her marriage so education was generally discouraged uh, with regard to higher education most of the families believe that already the one has to give lot of expenses towards dowry and marriages so they used to provide less education for the girl and uh, used to save that money for her marriage knowing about fourth foundation fellowship was mere coincidence uh, i was on my work in one college to increase volunteerism from students where i met uh, one of the organization who was carrying their forms and when i found that i am eligible then i applied and i got through it i started uh, working with gond and korku tribes in betul uh, district and uh, i saw that the government has taken over their lands and these tribals are put in prison for fighting against their rights but due to development process they are displaced you know there are false cases by forest department on them so my work actually started from there then i saw that lot of poor people are put in prison with no reason because they have been fighting for their lands and they it's their right to live that's right to livelihood of and all those aspects that they were asking their rights from the government they were put in prison i was working in an organization which works on poor prisoners rights in criminal justice system uh, is it's an organization that is doing social work intervention with prisoners and trying to help them in their case work family support and trying to educate their children while they are in the prison the entire criminal justice system is very uh, male dominated place and uh, adding to that there is no space for any humanitarian work or welfare activity by a non governmental organization in the prisons for security reasons and for other uh, government reasons so creating this space in the criminal justice system especially prison which is not just reachable to any common man was a tough uh, task and making a place as a professional body to do social work intervention for prisoners uh, was recognized by prison department and other government departments after a certain uh, amount of work that we put in my family was not really happy with me going into social work and that to going for uh, criminal justice system they felt that it is quite a difficult place for women to survive uh, and uh, quite many times they have objected with the kind of work that i am doing and they've been suggesting that why should not i take up some job that make me feel secure born in a small farmer family uh, it was just a dream to go to university of cambridge which uh, uh, which became a reality when i got ifp fellowship this particular course gave me an intensive training in research methods which i can use in my work area and that such course was rare in india which uh, i couldn't have done 
with any ex external support studying in such culture where everything is quite open so it took some time for me to adjust to their culture um, the food is also very much different uh, we eat lot of spicy and uh, different kind of food they eat completely bland food they are more formal in their relationship we are very informal in our relationship uh, i would say that my overall experience in during this fellowship was uh, excellent uh, especially when i count on academic side the rigorous academic training which i received studying in cambridge was uh, something which was very unique for me in my life the ifp program has a very noble uh, vision and uh, the ifp team has been really helping all the students whoever has been selected through this scholarship has been really supported in all levels apart from that the team was always available for our uh, difficulties through this fellowship i've not only uh, enhanced my work that i've been doing prior to fellowship but also it has helped me intellectually to progress in many of the other areas where i could see academic uh, um, aspects of working you know there was a time when this organization started with one person now we have 15 to 16 people working on it personal level what i feel that working on this particular issue in such a position and such a place has also set an example to many such women who are desiring to study and do something for uh, themselves and for society over the years there was a huge acceptance because the department or the system also realizes that there is a need of such kind of work and none of those actors who are present in criminal justice system are able to do that kind of work that sudhar has been doing none of the funding agencies have been looking for uh, the development of criminal justice system which has been the foundation of uh, our society from long time so if we expand our work and work like the similar way then definitely down 10 to 20 years there would be scope for humanitarian aspects i think uh, the foreign country has been never been a very great attraction for me except for education as a social worker i feel i should be working where there is need so i believe that there is lot of need and scope to work over here and that makes me come back prisoners are in the prison not being informed to the family members for years and their cases they are uh, running for 8 to 10 years i mean this was a situation where i feel it's a gross human rights violation you know and that is why sudhar made that we should contact the family members we should work on legal aspects so that speedy trial happen we should make sure that they get basic uh, services through dialogue or through interaction with the various departments so there is lot to be done with the prisoner there are still health issues there are still issues with the prisoner where the family is outside and the child is outside who is going to take care is none of their business i mean the state has no responsibility of this so that's where i think the sudhar comes and works in doing this kind of services i dream of uh, a world with no prisons